Hey there everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel and to my spring cleaning tips video. I've got 10 tips I'm going to share with you now about how to make spring cleaning easy this season. Has anyone else started spring cleaning? Is it just me? I don't think March is too early, <laughs> obviously. The first tip I'm going to share is damp dusting. This is so easy because all you need is water and a little damp dusting sponge like this one here. This one is made by Scrub Daddy but there are so many that you can get. You need to hold it under water until it turns soft. Then you just literally wipe it across your skirting boards like so or anywhere else that might gather dust and it just magnets the dust and picks it all up so effortlessly. Then you just wipe it off in the water and repeat the process. It's a super satisfying job to do, a really effective way to dust the house and also so simple because it's just water no chemicals no nothing like that and as you can see from my sponge it's very very effective i also love doing it on my stairs on the side bits here it picks up so much i actually felt a bit sick when i saw this sponge to be honest with you and even more sick when i poured the water down the toilet which you're about to have the pleasure of seeing Okay, tip number two is to use a window vac to clean all of the glass in your house. It is so effective. I don't use this all the time, but when I do, it feels like the pros have been round. All I did was go over the glass first with a soapy solution. I mix up dish soap with white vinegar and put it in a little soap daddy scrubber so I can just scrub it directly onto the glass. And then I'm just gonna go over it with my window back. And as you can see, it is sparkling. I made sure to do the outside as well because there's no point cleaning the inside unless you're also gonna do the outside. It looked so good. It made me wonder why I don't get this out more often, to be honest. This is also not the expensive brand that you think it is. I'm not gonna say the name, but it's a dupe that my fiance got for me and I think it was super cheap. I can't remember how much, maybe like 20 pounds. I will link it in my description box if anyone wants to see. <laughs> And here is the results of my glass cleaning. Again, I feel physically sick. I'm gonna pour this down the toilet and I never wanna see it again. Okay, tip number three is to move the sofas. This is something that I avoid doing for the reason that you're seeing right now, but <laughs> I was actually really shocked to see how much stuff was under here. We've recently acquired a kitten, so I'm gonna blame her for the amount of things that are under the sofa. It's not normally this bad, and a lot of them are cat toys. The first thing I'm gonna do is remove all of the objects so that I have a clear space. I'm using a Flash Bicarbonate Soda Spray. I love this spray so much. And I'm gonna clean under the sofa by hand. It's most thorough if I use my hand, so I'm just gonna give it a good scrub so that it's super clean, and I'm gonna go over it with my vacuum before I put the sofa back. Okay, tip number four is to go under the sofa cushions. Again, we avoid doing this, don't we? Because we don't really want to see. But lift up those sofa cushions and have a look what's under there. Mine was a lot of crumbs, a lot of chocolate. I mean, I'm blaming my son for that, obviously. I have nothing to do with that. I'm using the handheld part of my vacuum cleaner to go over every little section under the sofa and make sure that I've got all of the crumbs and dust that have been gathering here. Then I'm gonna pop my sofa cushions back on the top. I'll give them a quick little vacuum as well before I put the scatter cushions back and there you go. All that hidden mess and dirt is gone. Okay, number five is to do a quick cobweb hunt. My favorite way to do this is using my flash 
dust magnet and this one is my favorite because it's extendable it extends so far so you can reach into those hard to reach places i go over photo frames i go up in corners i get in all those little nooks and crannies that spiders love to live i do this relatively often and i still find loads of cobwebs every time you wouldn't believe how quickly spiders can get in and make their little homes in those little corners and it freaks me out so the quicker I get rid of them the better also light fittings I always forget to do these light fittings and there were tons of little creepy cobwebs in here that I was very glad to see the back of Okay, on to number six, and I'm gonna do a lime scale purge. Use Viacal, your life will change. It is a miracle product. Spray it all over your chrome in your bathroom like this. If it's covered in water rings and watermarks like mine is, I literally left it on for two minutes. Then I came in with my little Sonic scrubber. I'll link this in the description box in case anyone wants one. I gave it a light little scrub with my Sonic scrubber and then I rinsed it with water, wiped it with a cloth and as you're about to see, every single water ring and watermark and lime scale mark is completely gone. And yeah, it was literally on there for two minutes to acquire this result. If you haven't used Viacal, this is your sign to try it. Okay, number seven is to vacuum the mattresses. We all forget to do this, I'm guilty of it as well, but I'm gonna go around the house and do all of them, starting in the spare room here because this is new so I was excited to vacuum up anything I could possibly find on here and even though this mattress was new it still had loads of like fluff and things I guess from where it's just been made so I was happy to vacuum all of that up and now I'm going to move on to number eight which is to wash the duvets. Did you know that you can wash your duvet at home? This is a large and filthy feather duvet and I'm going to make it into a little sausage shape like this and it will fit into my washing machine. I mean I can't guarantee that yours will fit into yours but I'm telling you that mine fits into mine. I'm going to pop in some fabric softener, some scent boosters so that it smells amazing and a washing tab and I'm going to wash this duvet. And here we are 24 hours later, look at the colour difference, it looks so fresh and brand new and it smelt incredible, I actually had to curl up on it and give it a sniff because it smells so so good. Okay I've cheated a little bit here but number 9 and 10 is to mop your entire bathroom because this is such a life changing cleaning tip and it's walls, it's ceilings, it's floors, it's everything so it really counted for two. Get your mop and use it to mop the entire bathroom. I go all the way up to the ceiling. I do not leave any corners untouched. And then I do the base of the shower and then I always do the floor last for obvious reasons. But it is so quick and effective and the bathroom smells incredible afterwards. But guys, that is my top 10 spring cleaning tips for this season. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe before you go. And I'll see you in my next video.